eating this person-sized burger is a-okay, as long as you pair it with a Diet Coke, right? The Diet Coke makes the calories not count. This girl's all like, he married me, he promised to love me no matter what, so cake, here I come. <laughs> oh man, this is too good. I mean, I think people should love you for you no matter what you look like at all, but also, I feel like you should be healthy for you and not for anybody else. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy cake. Oh, you can be healthy and enjoy cake. Trust me, you just can't enjoy cake like 24 seven. Finally settling down for my vegan, gluten-free, antibiotic-free, raw, non-GMO, organic, fat-free, low-carb meal, AKA you're having ice. Because how are you gonna get all those restrictions in one food? I'm literally trying to think of something that has all these things and all you can have is ice. This family supports this person's dieting needs. They're like, we got your back. This person had a bowl of something that was probably unhealthy and the family ate it all because they support you. And all they left is this one measly broccoli. Just a broccoli. I was waiting for my delicious Alfredo pasta with Alfredo and cream and more cream and cheese. But all I got is the, the, the broccoli. Who else thinks that they weren't being so supportive? They just wanted my delicious food. What people think people do when they're on diets. For breakfast, lettuce. Lunch, lettuce on more lettuce naturally. And some lettuce with some lettuce. And then for dinner, we got lettuce with lettuce and lettuce and lettuce with more lettuce. Note, all meals served with a side order of dot dot dot. You guessed it, lettuce. Quick disclaimer, this is not healthy and I actually don't even think you would really even lose weight like this because newsflash, we need food to live. I know, it sounds crazy. Food? To live? What? What is this crazy facts with Azzy? I'm gonna get real with you guys. I used to be a pretty like chubby, fattish kid. Like I'm not genetically blessed where like, I'm just like all those people who are genetically blessed, oh bless you guys. But I unfortunately wasn't like that. I've struggled m with my weight when I was younger and the best way to do it is the healthy way because Otherwise, you're gonna mess up your metabolism. Like I said, the best way to do it, what I do is I work out consistently three to five times a week and I eat fairly healthy. Like I do have unhealthy meals too, but then for the most part, I try to like eat healthy. And what I mean by that is balance. So you wanna have a lot of proteins, a lot of veggies. So you have like your, your proteins, your carbs and your fats. And all of these are important to your body. Like you need all three to work properly. Like you can't be like, oh, I'm not having any fat because your brain needs fat to function. And if your brain's not functioning, your body's not functioning properly. I'm on a diet, but my roommate bought this. All these person's favorite snacks, and not just one, like a year's supply. Is this even necessary? Dude, I think your roommate secretly hates you because who knows that their roommate is on a diet and is like, I'm gonna tempt them with all this stuff that is really bad for them. I am the type of person that I cannot keep this much bad stuff in the house because I will just eat it all. I know I have no self-control, okay? If I had this much, I would just sit there and just eat it all. She said we should lose weight and replace bread with healthy crisps. Damn, that looks depressing AF. Like, <laughs> if this is what your meals look like, like you're not gonna last very long. Like you still need to enjoy your life, live a little. When the weight turned out to be different than expected. <gasps> oh my God, this must be such a crushing blow to someone's self-esteem. Like this could happen to anybody. Like it really could have been anybody. Sometimes these things are, are on the verge of breaking, but like you're literally getting on it and you're like, oh, how much do I weigh? And then it shatters beneath your feet. Like this person needs a big hug right now. Happy Easter to all the vegans. I think this is meant to like insult vegans, but like avocados are damn delicious. Like I'm not even mad at this. Like, don't get me wrong. I would be a little disappointed if I was expecting a Cadbury egg, but at the same time, if I knew it was an avocado, I would eat that thing up like no tomorrow. Delicious! I'm on a snake diet. It's the one where you lie on the floor all day, eat 25% of your body weight, and hiss at everyone who comes near you. What? I need to try this. When it seems like the world is against you, this person just wanted to make a healthy smoothie. Oh my God, that's not even a smoothie. I feel like that's soup. What is he doing? Why are you putting potatoes into a smoothie? Oh, 
No, 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 no. This, this blender is like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna make this hella difficult for you. I'm gonna make sure that everything in your day is making it impossible. Sometimes it feels like this. You're like, nothing is going to plan. So don't you hate those days? Like not even diet wise, just like when you're just trying to get something done and everything is going wrong. And when one thing goes wrong, another thing goes wrong. You know, like the saying, like when it rains, it pours. I feel like it has a lot to do with energy. I know I've talked to you guys about this before, but I like really believe in the law of attraction. That's like when you're being negative, it attracts more negative things. And then when you're positive, it attracts more positivity into your life. Oh my God, I believe it so much. I know I sound a little crazy when I say this, but I guess it's like also kind of like karma. And when you're like a bad person and you do bad things, then you start attracting bad people into your life. And it's just, it's just a, a bad cycle. It's just, just, yeah. Don't. When you go out with your friends and they're all like, I'll get the pizza, I'll get the Chevy. What the hell is the Chevy I needed in my life? The bacon, cheddar, chive. Ah, I'm dead. And you're like, I'll just get the, the, the invisible one. You know, the, the, the one that is not there. And you know what I say to this? It's what I said before, live a little. It's okay to cheat. Actually, it's good for you to cheat. If you're always eating the exact same amount of calories every day, guess what? Your body's gonna get used to it. When you count your calories but are desperate to drink some soda, <gasps> what is this tiny ass cup? Like who made this and why? Oh, I know, this is for dips. Like when you order little sauces, they put the sauces in there or like little condiments or something. But this person like poked a hole in it with his straw and is like, this is for my soda now. This isn't too bad. As long as you're having an actual meal and you just like, you just wanna quench that like craving a little bit. Like I'm not, I'm not mad at this, but it's also a little depressing. I've shown this one on my channel before, but I think it's so funny, I need to show it again. So this person, is walking around with a scale in Walmart, okay? And they're walking around with a scale and then they see the brownies and they're like, screw my diet, drop the scale, take a brownie. <laughs> I haven't even started. I don't even know how much I weigh. It's good. Weight doesn't really matter that much because I have been thinner and weighed more than when I wasn't as thin because muscle does weigh more than fat. So I think weighing yourself to some extent can do more harm than good. Like it's not healthy to always be like, oh my God, how much do I weigh? How much do I weigh? Like I don't even have a scale at home at all. Like I do not know how much I weigh right now. It doesn't matter. Like as long as like you're, you feel good, you're healthy, you're working hard. It takes a lot of hard work, damn it. Hate hard work, but sometimes you gotta do it. I've been on a diet for 29 days now and this is how I feel, but everything tastes good. Like licking windows, donut shop windows, just to imagine the taste of donuts. And you know what I'm gonna say to this? Just have a damn donut if you want one so bad. It's not like gonna ruin your life having one donut. Like you're gonna be good, I promise. Live a little. The last day on a diet, you're like, I am gonna eat this chicken wing like a savage. And then I'm gonna eat everybody else and their mothers, everything is gone. Like, it's gonna be in my tummy. I'm gonna pretty much turn into a caveman. If this is how you feel when you're on a diet, you are doing it wrong. And this is exactly what happens. People are like starving themselves and then, surprise, they eat everything in sight and just ru ruin everything they just tried to do. Wouldn't it be easier if it was just like in moderation? Oh my God. I mean, it's still pizza, but he's like, if I make it green, if I put some avocados on it, it must be healthy. It's like one of my friends, she, she, she seems to believe that if she puts lemon in her water, that suddenly none of her calories count. She's like, oh, I could have cake as long as I have some lemon water, I'm good. <laughs> I'm like, boo, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> that lemon, like magic. I'm playing the role of Satan to my coworkers diets today in the office. <laughs> Take one, dot, dot, dot. Nobody's watching. You know you want to. Damn. I don't know if this is evil or funny. Do not tempt me, cookies. This is how I look when I'm under diet. Oh, the poor kitty looks so sad. He's like, cats aren't supposed to eat lettuce. We want cat food and all your tuna from the cans, of especially tuna. Screw the cat food. We just want your tuna. The day before the diet starts and you just want to go out with a bang. It's a carrot lobster, a carrot lobster. I don't even think lobsters are that unhealthy for you. It's like protein. How bad is it for you that like you really need to be substituting it for carrots? I guess like if you're like drowning the lobster in butter, then maybe it's a little unhealthy. But like, I think, I think, I think you could have just a lobster. 
Although this carrot lobster is pretty cute. Like, I'm just like, I, I'm like, who made this? I need this in my life. I wouldn't even want to eat it because it's like a masterpiece. This is, this is art. When you promise to only eat one cookie. <laughs> this person should be a lawyer. He's like, you said one cookie. It was only one cookie. Like filled up all the stuffing. I mean, the stuffing is the best part. But I feel like if you had this much stuffing, I would just feel sick. I feel like you need a little bit of cookie with the stuffing. I don't know if I want just the stuffing on its own. Hmm. This is an experiment I need to do. When your husband supports you sticking to your diet, he put a little note saying, no, I will find out. How did he know I was about to strike here? A birthday cake for those who are losing weight. Dude, it's your birthday. Live a little. You are allowed to have cake on your own birthday. An excellent choice for those who are trying to lose weight. Alternative, carrots. They look like carrots. They don't taste like them, but they look like carrots. Must be carrots. Perfect. So I've been eating vegetables all along. Good to know. A sign from above. There's a rainbow pointing to Jack in the box with a pot of gold in the form of food. My parents put our dog on a diet. This is how he greets me when I come visit. With the bowl in his mouth. This is so adorable. I don't care if I'm overweight puppy. I just want food. <laughs> this is so cute. I'll just have a one chip. Just one. I mean, I can't get the rest of them out of it, so... I have to have this one chip with like 20 inside of it. How did this even happen? I feel like this would just be a disaster. You would eat this chip and then you would need a vacuum because it would just crumble everywhere. Imagine biting into this. Does this shirt make me look fat? Oh, the kitty. Sometimes just clothing isn't flattering. What can you do? When you're trying to lose weight, I'll just have 50 of these instead of one burger. I mean, it's technically probably gonna be the exact same thing, but I'll feel like I just had many burgers, so it's... Okay. The diet fork. So they're just making it very difficult for you to eat. Maybe you'll lose more calories using it than you came from eating it. I don't know what the theory is behind this. It just kind of looks like an octopus and it's creeping me out. I just want to let you guys know that you're all beautiful the way you are. You don't need to change for anybody except for yourself. If you feel like you are unhealthy, then please do make changes. Otherwise, just love yourself. I mean, who really cares if you don't like fit to somebody's ideal? Everybody's ideal is different. Some people like curvy girls, some people like thin girls. And I guess this works for guys too. Like some girls like thin thin men and some, some girls like thicker men, you know? So I, everybody has a taste and you don't have to feel like because you're not one specific person's taste that you aren't special and you aren't amazing. Do things for you, not for others. And no matter what you do, make sure it is a healthy, safe way. Don't go on any of these crazy starvation diets or whatever else all these diets are because none of them work. And none of them work in a healthy way. They might work like for a little bit, but then your metabolism is gonna be shot. So yeah, that's just a little advice for me. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye.